What's going on guys, Berg's Dip Reviews back here with you again. Um, as you can see, we're at the new location. Uh, I would do a tour, but things are kind of a mess right now. But today we have General Snooze, and this is the original. Um, okay, so before we go any further, the presentation as always. Um, you got a black can, orange, or, excuse me, more like a gold, uh, I don't know why I said orange, gold <clears throat> across the center, 24 portions, original, disposal lid, okay, side label, side warning label, general Swedish snooze, then on the bottom, you got general original 24 portion Swedish snooze sale only allowed in the United States 100% premium imported tobacco net weight 0.9 ounces general snooze.com Swedish match North America Richmond Virginia uh, and the date is February 16 2016 it's got the ingredients underneath um, and this is just like a temporary spot for the camera until I get uh, something to prop it up on that's at eye level because of how this desk is but anyway once you open it up and I did have two out of here um, you get they're pretty much they're, they're like a little bit smaller than uh, dip pouches um, so main difference between these and the white is that these are dark brown just like your regular dip pouches um, little there I mean they've been floating around in my car out of my car in the cold in the heat so they kind of they, they were wetter when I first bought them now they're a little dry I'm gonna take two um, so yeah if you didn't know uh, graduated community college and I'm at a four-year college now so uh, moved I'm out in further rural PA than before um, like I said it a couple videos ago but now this will be here and we'll be here at least till May and if I stay in this place or get another one I don't know yet that's way too soon to tell but um so yeah that's what's been going on here um and what else was i going to say oh as far as general snooze the other flavors i've had i did all reviews on recently wintergreen mint uh white so what was next <clears throat> Obviously, pinchability and packability are going to be a 10 out of 10. Um, history of it, uh, you know, I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's been out for the last couple of years at least. Swedish Match makes Pinkerton also, or they bought Pinkerton a few years back. So Longhorn, Timberwolf, Red Man, and all those wide variety of chews that Pinkerton makes all fall under the umbrella of Swedish match hence the disposal lid on longhorn pouches and red man pouches or not red man pouches excuse red man doesn't make pouches timberwolf pouches sorry about that um yeah so I haven't had original um like I said I have wintergreen mint and white um price on it in PA here it seems to be like roughly like 350 okay not the cheapest thing out there for sure it's more than camel snooze more than skull snooze and uh interesting thing about skull snooze when i was at well we don't have any at this part of the state but when i was at a wawa station back home uh they had a sign up skull snooze new low price and it was like a dollar 79 or something like that and usually Skull Snooze is quite a bit more than that. So that was interesting to see. Um, we'll have to get a review in on those uh, at some point. So the nicotine on it, I want to say General has a medium amount. No matter what 
wood flavor really. Um, according to their site, they describe original as a bold flavor, blend of 22 tobaccos, hint of bergamot, uh, natural, strong strength, moist medium sized pouch and 24 portions of can. Compare that to white, which I think this tastes quite a bit like. White said spicy citrus infused with hints of tea, hay, leather, naturals, uh, medium strength, medium pouch, and uh, 24 in a can. So, okay, is it the taste all that different than white? Not really. Okay. They're both like a spicy tea sort of flavor. This one definitely seems more moist, like maybe not right now because my mouth's kind of dry, but the other day when I had this in, like it was, a, it was the same amount of spit that you would get with a long cut dip, and I didn't get that with white at all. White still put out a decent amount, but not quite as much as this. The original feels more like a uh, like a long cut, I guess, when, in terms of spitting. The other thing, I think the original does taste a little bit more like a dip natural than the white. The white really tasted, um, I don't know, like spicy more than natural. And this still has both, but I think it leans toward like a, I don't know, there, it seems like there's like a hint of Cobell C somewhere buried in the background of this. I mean, that's not really what it tastes like, but it's like almost like I can taste it in there. Um, kind of interesting, but. So yeah, I am spitting in the Southern Pride Mud Jug, but you don't have to have to spit with snus. If you're new to snus, you may want to spit, uh, especially for us dippers that are used to spitting all the time anyway. It kind of comes natural to us but uh, I find that when you're not snoozing all the time it'll burn your throat um, when I did all those three basically back to back to back um, by the end of that I could swallow it and it wouldn't really bother me that much but now that I've been I haven't had any since and it's been a few weeks it's you know I'm sure it would burn pretty bad well I'll swallow a little bit <coughs> yeah it doesn't hit your right at the second but then afterwards that real like natural spicy snooze flavor really hits you in the throat it's not really my thing so that's why I uh, I just spit and I'm used to it anyway um, but for some folks uh, that I mean you could swallow it and you probably would be okay I think it does upset some people's stomachs a little bit but that's just me um, they don't burn okay um they're up top they're not burning um probably because of the naturalness to it but uh yeah i'm not really getting any burn at all last ability uh, if we base it on the other ones you know 45 minutes at least these these are pretty good i mean they last quite a long time um Oh, and another side note, um, I the uh, internet or the cable hasn't been set up here yet, so I'm just recording this and it won't be up tonight. It's Sunday night. Um, hopefully, we can get that going tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I'm with it. I'm in the dark. Well, not in the dark, but you know what I mean. Um, Watching YouTube is like a nightly thing, so I guess that won't be going on tonight. I don't want to blow through all my uh, data on my phone to do that, but uh, so anybody, I'll have to catch up on you in a couple days throwing my regulars. So uh, I guess it's time for some shout outs. Uh, full review of the Georgia Dippers, Stokers Dipper, Peach Pride Dippers, Yee Yee Dipper, Outcast of Redemption 1, Cope Dipper 137. I put all those regulars in the uh, featured channels, and we'll do the rotators as well. We've got West Kentucky Dipper, Dipper 2003, Mark the, or yeah, Mark Dips Copenhagen, Cope Dips 23, and Nick the Night Piper. Check all of them out. 
Uh, number of subs, I'm pretty sure we're still at about 176 or so, somewhere in there. Uh, thanks to everybody. Um, 200's coming up, we'll figure out what we're going to do for that when the time comes. Um, unfortunately for me, I'm sure you guys will like it, but it's probably going to require me to do a full can. I uh, avoided that on the 100 sub video, but I think it's time for me to do it. I've never attempted a full can. It's going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, so get me to 200 and we'll be able to see that. Like I said, I don't, I don't, you know, make these videos in order to get the most, uh, the most subscribers or anything like that. This is just me having a good time informing people and, you know, I don't make a big deal about it, but the milestones are still fun. So that's what we'll be doing there. Uh, the rating out of 10 on original. Okay, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's very, you know, if, if it wasn't for the slightly more moist and subtle taste differences, you would think that this and white, like, why do they even make two different ones, you know? They also make, <coughs> they also make one called Classic Blend in the upright container, and uh, I didn't see that at Sheets. Maybe a tobacco shop will have it. And then I have Nordic Mint to do, that's also an upright. I have Mini Mint, uh, which is apparently small pouches, 20 in a can. And then I have Loose to do, and then that'll be all the general snooses. Um, I also picked up some Kayak Peach, and I got a bunch of coupons. Um, I got two 150 off Copenhagen coupons good till the end of April so I need to do extra long cut natural and if you haven't heard if you're still watching some rambling on a little bit here today <coughs> Copenhagen long cut mint and mint pouches are coming out nationwide in approximately March so we'll get even though I did mint I'll probably pick up a can just because it's gonna be out and I definitely want to do the mint pouches they seem interesting, so we're gonna do that. Okay, so would I buy this again? No, um, you know, it's not my kind of flavor. It's a different natural than dip naturals. It's a more spicy flavor. Uh, so no, I won't buy it again. But if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Take care.